Hello again, this is Grant Abbott from Gavit Media and you're watching number 28 and the topic was smooth, so we're doing Sculpt January of course and I chose to do smooth as in smooth criminal, Michael Jackson and uh, Michael Jackson doing smooth criminal song he dressed up in a white suit like this doing smooth criminal uh, I think that makes sense anyway um, <laughs> not, I'm not very coherent uh, it was a tough one today uh, lots of errors from my part and uh, possibly glitches from Blender 2.8 so uh, right at the end of the day uh, cutting it fine uh, and uploading and it is still a bit rough to be honest uh, so I started the usual way with a skin modifier. This time I did it in separate sections. So I did the body with these small stubby little arms coming out. Um, and then the jacket goes around those arms and then uh, separate hands. And I just inserted the hands from the hand pose uh, section. Uh, the head I did separately as well uh, because he's got a shirt and a collar and that's a nice clean line in a sense to insert a head into. Uh, so uh, where I could separate it I did and that was helpful in fact uh, and quite useful. You can see how I'm making the jacket here, I'm just doing a cylinder um, as my base mesh and I think uh, I had lots of issues with the jacket and looking back I think uh, sculpting it uh, in terms of the shape was a bad idea. I should have got the shape right first and made it look like a jacket and then uh, I did all the poses and things like that and then done a multi-resolution modifier uh, with uh, and then solidify after that. Um, I think that would have been better. It just uh, lost its shape a lot around the edges um, and that's something that, you ha that happens with, especially when you're trying to clean your edges but there's a really thin line and if you smooth you'll get sort of jaggedy blobbity bits, blobbity bits, <laughs> blob bits or whatever they are and they're hard to clean up. Uh, you can see I've sort of cleaned them up here um, but the problems I had uh, meant that I ran out of time and I, it did actually run out of time this time. Not running out of time as tends to be my catchphrase but I ran out of time and this is quite late uh, today for me to upload because I've got to start thinking about the next one tomorrow and I've got to try and get two in tomorrow um, because I work on uh, Wednesdays. So that's going to be tough as well. And it's Harpy and I really want to do another sort of pose with another character but characters are hard to do within a day and I wouldn't really suggest it because you end up rushing and uh, you can't sort of sort out any glitches and uh, generally the better models I've done I think are when I've had a bit of time to concentrate on the actual render and make it look smart so uh, rushing around trying to do a character uh, like the Jekyll and Hyde one I did is probably the least successful of the whole uh, series that I've done uh, yet it took me the longest amount of time so rushing doesn't help. I was going to go for a sort of stylized Michael Jackson but in a way I didn't um, feel confident enough uh, to to pull that off and it sounds strange but I still haven't found my own style if uh, that makes sense to anybody out there um, and I see some people they and I suppose that's not really my objective at the moment finding a style I, it's something I would like to do but I don't really want to uh, just have a style and that's me and that's done uh, I hope I'm making sense because I do see some sculptors and they've done some lovely work but they do all look the same and I don't really want to have that about me that uh, all my sculpts end up <coughs> excuse me, being the same. Uh, not that I've got anything against their sculpts and they've got lovely style and they're better than mine uh, but it's just not where I want to go. I want to be really uh, sort of eclectic in my styles. Uh, maybe that's um, uh, fanciful thinking and uh, beyond me but that's what I'm aiming for so I just kept it fairly uh, fairly realistic. I mean, it's still stylized in a way. Is it so rough? <laughs> but um, there's a fair, a fair realism to it. I didn't want to try and push stylized elements. Maybe there's a fear factor as well because lots of people watching me on YouTube. Um, so I feel a bit under pressure to produce something uh, that looks relatively nice. And it looks relatively nice, but it hasn't got that pizzazz, uh, as I would say. <laughs> pizzazz. What a silly word. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm just sort of sculpting up the details but not going too far because obviously I've got to pose the model and I'm sort of going for this stylized flares, uh, these sort of uh, trousers, uh, trying to get some sort of cloth look to them uh, whilst I've still got symmetry on because obviously when I pose the model I lose symmetry and then I have to do double the work uh, in a sense. The biggest problem, like I said, was the jacket and you can see me uh, starting to sculpt it here. Uh, 
and that I think is my mistake. I should have posed it first and then not worried about the symmetry because it's not a big deal with the jacket. Um, there's not lots of details to it. Um, and uh, kept it just a low poly jacket uh, and positioned it and posed it uh, and then started doing maybe a multi-resolution mesh, uh, uh, multi-resolution modifier to sculpt with. It's something I rarely do. I like to do the Dine Topo. I like to have that sort of freedom that Dine Topo gives you. Uh, but uh, uh, multi-resolution modifier is better uh, in terms of consistency uh, and all retopology and all those sort of things. It's much nicer uh, for that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm getting just generally the shape here. I had problems with the skinning uh, with the jacket because uh, you can see what I've done here. I've created um, this sort of, um, it's not solid in a sense, it's a flat surface, but then I did a solidif solidify modifier to it. So it's got a th very slight thickness uh, because of all the sort of holes in it and it is cloth. Uh, but when I went to skin it, the insides of the mesh, so let's say my um, jumper is the jacket, the insides didn't uh, follow the bone weight. Uh, I don't know whether that's a glitch in 2.8. Uh, it's something I've not really done a lot of, it's, it's clothing like this. Um, so it could just be that it, skinning doesn't work like that in some way. I, I can't work out quite what I did. What I had to do in the end was delete the inside mesh that was within the um, jacket, uh, or some of it anyway. Um, obviously I couldn't delete it all because you see some of the inside meshes. It was a tricky one anyway. <laughs> uh, I can't quite explain the problems. You may hopefully be able to see them uh, within the sculpt. Although hopefully you'll be able to see my mistakes. <laughs> That's not a good thing to look out for really. <laughs> but uh, then I suppose uh, I, I'm learning and I'm hoping other people are learning uh, from my process as well. <clears throat> Uh, so there's no sort of tutorial element to this, but hopefully you can learn from the mistakes I've made and not make them yourself. I'm still enjoying the uh, sort of more hard surfacey brushes uh, by changing the weight of them, uh, in sorry, the strength of them, and uh, th with the pinch and uh, the uh, crease brush. Uh, so I'm getting quicker at those elements, which is nice. And the shoes are kind of fun with these sort of uh, smooth criminal shoes. He's got this sort of white, I don't even know what they are, they're sort of things that go over the top of the shoe. It would have been nice to have painted actually because there's a, uh, it's a black and white suit, mainly white, uh, but the black elements m would have been really nice to have put in, uh, but like I say, I ran out of time, and uh, I think that would have made this look a lot better, uh, some sort of uh, it's just just that element of black and white would have finished it off and it would have looked more like Michael Jackson as well. I couldn't get the face to look like Michael Jackson at all. And you can see me modeling it here. And uh, well, I suppose in a sense, the reference images, uh, depending on what time you get uh, a reference image of Michael Jackson, his face does tend to change slightly. Uh, so uh, it was tricky uh, to figure out which um, reference image to use and get the right sort of side view and front view. Uh, the, it, later on, in the later Michael Jackson years, he's got quite a big sort of chin, but gaunt features. And I was trying to get those across, but it ended up looking a bit like Frankenstein rather than, uh, Frankenstein's monster, sorry, rather than uh, Frank, um, the Michael Jackson, who are we doing? Michael Jackson, so uh, frustrating there. I just drew the eyes on because I knew that um, I was conscious, I suppose, that the lighting, I did want to have that sort of spotlight uh, that sort of shines onto him, as you can see. Um, I wanted that element, so I knew we wouldn't see much of the eyes, so I just wanted to give a hint. Uh, and that, that worked fine, I'm not fussed about that. They weren't detailed, but they, they worked okay but it's still, it just doesn't look like Michael Jackson. It's a, it was annoying, that was. I thought I could sort of mimic someone's features better than that. Because I've done a few sort of 2D caricatures in the past, and some were successful and some weren't. Uh, and interestingly, the, the thing you're supposed to look for is the nose, that you've got to get the nose right in terms of the proportions and things. I think that's uh, fair to say. And then uh, it will end up looking like the person to a degree. I don't know how true that is, that's what I uh, learnt and read and things, but uh, it was hard today. I suppose his hair is quite iconic as well and I didn't do the hair until much later. And the hair is a little bit rushed as you can see. 
looks a bit blobby. <laughs> Everything's blobby with my work. But that is something to bear in mind, I suppose, uh, that uh, a more professional looking sculpt has that sort of finishing touches, which this sculpt doesn't. And it is uh, using the pinch brush uh, to good effect and upping your resolution. So I suppose uh, people using Z brush, they're probably gonna find this a bit easier uh, because they can go a higher resolution uh, and not have any lag. Um, but I suppose um, also getting used to the tools because you can turn down topo off and do your crease brush and it will give nice clean lines. And it's not uh, too difficult to do that. Um, and it's something uh, that I should always be doing. <clears throat> I suppose I get sometimes get to the stage where um, you think, okay, I've had enough of this one, I need to move on. Uh, and that's fair enough with this challenge that we're doing. We're doing it daily challenges, but it is good to really finish a sculpt sometimes and think, yes, that's perfect now. Uh, I haven't felt that any of mine have been perfect by any means yet. But sometimes I look at some online and think, yep, that is fantastic. Uh, I suppose uh, for daily challenges that's very tough isn't it uh, and uh, I'm probably spending more time than most people really um, because I feel like uh, people are watching me and I'm just putting lots of effort into this challenge uh, whereas most people only have about an hour or two. You can see I had a fair few uh, crashes, pauses and things and this is uh, I should have decimated before skinning that. Um, uh, do it doing the rigging and skinning. Uh, that was a bit uh, naive of me to think that that was going to go smoothly. Uh, so there's a long pause there, sorry about that. Uh, you'll see a few of those now because there is a bit of lagging. And you can see the glitch that I'm getting there. And I thought it was uh, my base mesh underneath uh, the um, jacket. I thought that had just been pushed and pulled around. But it was actually the jacket, so I should have sorted this out much earlier but I just was uh, hoping that it was something that it wasn't, unfortunately. So I had to go back and remodel the jacket, as you'll see later. You can see I've actually copied the head. So he has got an extra head sitting on the side there. But that's so uh, that I can position the head now, uh, and then if I do want to do any um, extra detailed sculpting on the head, I could just go back to it and then place it in, because it is, it's not particularly posed as such. I have put it, attached it to the rig, and it is, uh, skinned in. Well, you can see I had problems with the hand skinning there. I don't know what happened, but something went wrong. So I was unable to rig the hands properly. It's a bit of a shame. But anyway, the head. Um, in the end, um, I thought actually, if I want to do any symmetry, um, I can probably do that uh, the Zacharias Reinhardt trick where you sort of uh, recenter your object, uh, and that's quite a clever idea. So uh, you line up your axes with an empty and then uh, attach it to it and make that the center of your object and then you suddenly got symmetry again. It's quite a clever idea that and I'll try and remember to put a uh, link in the uh, description but I probably won't today because I'm so shattered. <laughs> I'm hardly getting my words out. Uh, teaching was a struggle. Uh, someone asked me uh, about how many uh, Macs have you got in your room today and I was counting them up and I was, it took me half an hour to count up a few uh, Macs. We use Macs at work uh, in, in our school. I'm rambling now. I'll stop there. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no excuses. Anyway, so uh, you can see me uh, working on uh, my jacket and then realizing that it's failed completely. Then I tried reskinning and you can see the glitches I'm having and they're all over the place. I have seen a few posts online where people are complaining about 2.8 with the skinning, but then there's lots of people complaining about stuff in 2.8. I shouldn't say complaining, they're pointing things out that aren't working. Uh, and it's, it's sometimes you think it's complaining, but it's, it's fair enough. People are saying, well, what's going on here? Uh, and I do completely understand. Uh, so uh, maybe that's not set up yet, or maybe I've done something wrong there and it's a basic mistake. Uh, I haven't done much uh, weight painting, generally speaking, and uh, I, I, am I new to it? Not new to it, but um, I don't know all the nuances of it, certainly, and I've never done anything that's got sort of two layers like a jacket, or this jacket has anyway, which again, uh, is a mistake. Uh, so I could have just done a low poly version and uh, rigged that, and then done a multi-resolution modifier, which would have been better, um, I'm sure. And you can see I'm deleting that inside face uh, just to make it easier on myself. I took it out to Instant Mesh as well uh, to retopologize it uh, so that it had um, less faces, uh, so that the um, the skinning and rigging was going to be easier. And it ended up being okay at this point, uh, so I'm kind of happy that it worked out roughly. Uh, I mean, you can see that it, it's 
it's not a great uh, skinning job by any means, uh, but uh, it's easier just to, to adapt the sculpt from that point than it is to try and weight paint uh, really um, well and stuff. I brought the hat in from uh, the other Jacqueline Hyde uh, sculpt that I did. Uh, I just wanted to quickly get meshes that I knew were roughly working uh, and then reshaped it a bit. It was just a quicker starting point uh, and that's, it seemed to be a good idea to do that sort of thing uh, with the lack of time I had. And I'm just sort of pushing and putting it into place. Uh, and it's, there was, I saw lots of, I saw some artistic uh, renders, uh, drawings of uh, Michael Jackson doing a sort of smooth criminal thing. And uh, they, uh, some had sort of very straight hats, some had sort of uh, rougher hats. And uh, I tried to mimic uh, the more sort of rough, uh, what are they? Um, not so rigid ones, uh, because I thought they looked cooler, but it ended up looking a bit, I don't know, it didn't quite work, the hat. There was something about it. And I really should have uh, done a ribbon around them uh, so it's got that sort of black uh, sort of halo around the, the, the rim there. Um, or the, the hat bit, whatever you call it. Uh, that bit, you'll know what I mean. Uh, hopefully I'll put a reference image up and then you can see what I'm aiming for at least when I'm saying all these references. Uh, they'll actually make more sense. So uh, still sorting out that jacket. Uh, that nightmare jacket. Uh, it was fun at this point, it became fun, but it was uh, because suddenly you can see a bit of action in the pose. And someone posted recently, and, that, uh, and, and I appreciate the sort of uh, criticism, uh, and it was constructive criticism, it wasn't sort of slagging me off and telling me how rubbish I am, but they said, um, I feel like your sculpts are lacking weight. And I thought long and hard about that, and I thought, yes, they really are, aren't they? Um, they don't seem to have that action about them, that sort of, uh, that dynamic feeling where they're really moving, they look very wooden, uh, sort of plastic lump just stuck there, uh, and I'm not getting that weight right. And they were talking about how um, they felt you should start off with the bone structure first and then build on the bones, and build the muscles second, and then uh, the clothing last, I'm assuming. Uh, and I thought, well, that, that's a long process. I haven't quite got time for that. I'm, I'm kind of doing that to a degree, but I'm going straight to the sort of muscular systems and then counting on my uh, skeletons or rigs to push them into place. And I think there is limitations in that. Uh, I'm not sure I completely agree with them about that setup, but uh, they are right. So um, I should certainly, uh, I'm certainly uh, viewing it with a lot of respect. Uh, that I need to work on that uh, and I've got to figure out how to work on that uh, by myself in a sense. Uh, so yes, getting that weight right uh, is my next thing. Uh, making it look... It, it, some sculptures uh, and some, some sculptors manage to make movement look really effective even though there is no movement there because it's a sculpture, it's, it's still. Um, and getting that movement is all to do with that pose and that excitement to the pose. And uh, yes, uh, this lacks that and previous sculpts have lacked that as well. It would be nice to spend more time on the rigging stages. I did a couple of um, poses as you saw earlier, uh, if, you, if you're still with me. Uh, and uh, none of them look quite right. I suppose I was too worried about the rig and it wasn't quite working. The, the hands uh, didn't weight properly, so they were sort of <laughs> going all over the place when I was trying to rig them into position. Um, because the, the, the hands uh, give quite a lot of expression as well, don't they? Uh, so it would be nice to get uh, more going on there. At this point, you can tell I'm rushing now with the hair, uh, just getting some blobs, quickly squiggling them about. It didn't look too bad because, again, um, I knew that the light wasn't going to be shining directly on them so I could get away with some squiggly blobbiness on this bit. Uh, but I, I'm noticing, I don't know whether it was 2.8 or this new sort of rake topology tool. Uh, I haven't actually had a chance to look at it properly. But I felt like the topology, when I was pulling the um, with the snake hook, was going all weird, uh, and there was something going on. It felt very different. So I don't know whether they've done something new recently with the sculpting tools um, to, in order to do that. Uh, but something felt very different, and it didn't feel quite right. Um, 
but uh, it's it's sometimes what you're used to. So I'm not I'm certainly not complaining because I'm I'm really happy that they're looking into the sculpting tools uh, more in 2.8. If they are, it might just be me uh, thinking something's going wrong and uh, weirdly clicked some sort of setting by accident. Uh, the last bit's now doing the tie. I think the tie was very important to add some sort of action and movement to it, and it did help. Um, but uh, it needed more. It needed more weight. And it's, it's, uh, I think this person who was advising me was uh, unable to put their finger on it, and it's quite hard to describe exactly what it is that's missing, but I do understand what they're saying, this sort of weight idea. Uh, the distribution of weight doesn't sit quite right. Uh, this time I did get a floor in when I was doing the shoes, so it, it ended up standing flatter on the floor, and that's something I need to remember and keep an eye on. I was having trouble with the render as well. I, I was doing this on my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro, and um, I couldn't quite get the um, volumetrics quite right. There was something not going well for me, and uh, for this bit I didn't realise. I didn't have uh, the render uh, version switched on. I had, what is it? Uh, development mode, I can't remember what that other one next to the render is called, uh, but I was, figuring, I was trying to figure out why my volumetrics wasn't working, but that was why. But I still couldn't quite get them how I wanted to. Uh, maybe uh, the volumetrics wasn't quite the right thing uh, in this situation. Uh, so, uh, and again, rushing a bit towards the end, and the render is not the place you really want to be rushing uh, with the shading and uh, getting the lighting right. Uh, that's, yeah, like I say, not the place for rushing. But yeah, just smartening up the jacket now, uh, doing the final touches. Um, the shape's okay as it is, uh, so uh, a very quick smartening up. Um, someone said uh, it shouldn't be calling it smartening up, uh, and, and, and that's a very sort of non-American way of saying it. But to look smart in clothing, to, to me, is sort of like to look posh or to look refined, is to look smart. So smartening up the clothing is making it look less scruffy. Uh, not nothing to do with the clothing's intelligence. <laughs> I find that funny anyway. Uh, and it, so yeah, uh, smartening up the jacket and getting those creases, doing a bit of tidying up before the final render. It, it looked alright in the viewport, uh, but obviously that's a smaller screen, so when you see it bigger and blown up, it doesn't look quite as good. With the volumetrics, I did put a, a Veronoi and Musgrave texture combined to try and make that uh, volumetrics look more interesting. But it was harder to control and I didn't quite have, have enough time to play with that. But I think that would have been better if I'd played with that a bit more. And just uh, fiddling with the lights, trying to get them right now. And this is the fun bit really, and I like spending a bit of time on this. Um, but I didn't have much time. Anyway, there's the final piece, so I'm pleased with it, but it, it needed more. It needed more polishing, tidying up, more uh, idea of the weight and action. Uh, but it's still good fun, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> slightly except when the jacket was going well didn't enjoy that bit <laughs> but it's getting there i think uh, it's it's i'm glad i did that sculpt in a day it's, i'm pleased with that some nice work on the discord server again um some lovely pieces i was thinking of doing a sumo wrestler for fat and uh, that was a good fun one uh, and they did a good job there whoever i'm looking at at the moment so i'm uh, i've uh, please put your names on then i can mispronounce your names uh, when I'm showing people's work. But there's lovely pieces here. Uh, who was it who was talking about subsurface scattering there? And they've got any examples there. Uh, but that looks, uh, that was a good example of subsurface scattering. Some people are using that sort of radial tool, nice to see uh, that that sort of, uh, people have uh, looked at that and uh, perhaps learned something. They, they probably already knew it, but uh, perhaps uh, picked up from what I was doing the other day. And, that, and really nice one there, split. Uh, well done. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks if you're still with me. I do appreciate people saying that. It does make me feel better to think I've gone sort of this whole 20, 30 minutes or whatever uh, and people are still watching. So thanks very much and I will see you next time.